All right, everybody spot the closest Muslim gentleman seated near you. Right? Okay. So last time I performed, I showed you guys how Muslim men do seduction. Hmm? Right. I also happen to tell you that it's quite successful. Now I heard that some non-Muslim men have also been trying it out and several injuries have been reported. So I thought I'll show you the correct way. Okay? All right. So husband, hmm? comes home, wife is doing some housework, hmm? he tiptoes, hikes up sarong, clears throat <coughs> and nods seductively towards the bedroom saying, Siti, Siti, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, if I didn't say this before, this method should be used only at home. <laughs> and only with your own wife. Some people have been using this method in other people's homes with other people's wives. And sometimes in the wife's office also. Please, it won't work, man. Yeah, so right, let's practice. Okay, let's practice this. Okay. All the married men in the audience, on the count of three, say your wife's name out loud. Your wife's name, huh? <laughs> say your wife's name out loud and go. Mm. Mm. Okay, all right, let's try this. One, two, three. Okay, okay, now I see the problem. It's all right, just keep practicing it, okay? But in a strange way, we are all Siddhis, men. Yeah. When it comes to our politicians, we are all Siddhis. Every five years, they come to us and go, Siddhi, Siddhi, mm. <laughs> And we are like, ah, you came back, you came again, huh? Your performance last time was very disappointing. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> But it's okay. Come, come. This is the last chance, okay? You better do it properly or I will throw you out. <laughs> so anyone here been to a Muslim wedding? Hmm? Yeah? Super, no? Huh? Good bloody food and... Uh... <laughs> Nothing else to it. No? <laughs> we have the AKG functions. Ava, Kava, Gia. You know, a non-Muslim wedding has three things that a Muslim wedding doesn't have. Drinks, dancing, and speeches. Now the Muslims have also started <laughs> giving speeches at weddings. I'll come back to that. So at a Muslim wedding, to make up for the fact that there is no alcohol and dancing, the auntie network swings into full gear. Their plans are more precise than D-Day. Mm. The wedding is their ultimate showcase with all the eligible boys and girls nicely dressed in one big ballroom waiting to be matched. Mm. You know, at a Muslim wedding, the auntie network does more matching than a forensic DNA lab. Yeah. So they go into overdrive just before dinner is served. And um, they are like, now we have matched please get them dispatched to go and get latched and now start to hatch, okay? Mm, yeah. So guys, remember, the only thing you need to have at a Muslim wedding is good food, man. You know, no need of flowers and centerpieces because nobody there gives a faluda. They came to, they came to, they came for the food. Nobody came there to see the centerpiece or dance the night away or, you know, listen to the speeches. They came for the biryani. Yeah. So anyway, speeches at Muslim weddings. Ticking time bombs, man. Not literally. <laughs> I mean, there is no point, no? Hmm? You can't give a toast without a drink. Hmm? And you toast with crystal, not cream soda. And a speech that is praising the bride or the groom sounds like they're asking for your vote. So, if you want to make the speech interesting, hmm, you need to spice it up a little. 
like you know when the groom's best friend says you know i have known rishad uh, since he was 15 uh, he was a bit playful uh, but <laughs> uh, he never had a girlfriend uh, he had many <laughs> very hot very close female friends <laughs> and the auntie network is like ah huh? <laughs> that boy richard handsome no and good talker mm. a little naughty but boys no now he will settle down now if the bride sister says siddhi had a friend whom she never went out with but he was a close friend and the auntie network like e you mean she had a friend who was a boy a boy friend boyfriend ah sharitan wedding cancel ade utuka pom ade anwar vena konna and the marave ette trust me it's not going to end well so maybe let's not do the speeches hmm? let's not do the speeches because anyway half the people they are not paying attention the aunties are busy matching the enemy section of the family are constantly looking for a weak spot to attack and the only ones who are listening don't know what the faluda you are talking about <laughs> yeah and any jokes you make is going to fall flat because the samosas on the table are finished and everybody is hoping that the biryani will come soon So trust me no one gives a flying faluda <laughs> <laughs>